Hello, it's time to install Laravel, finally! Yes, in order to do it, we go into the Laravel documentation and there you can choose the version of Laravel and then you can choose, for example, your first Laravel project section. And here it says that if you have PHP and Composer installed, we did it already, you can create a project using this command line. But where do we use this command line? Well, you can use it using the, for example, PowerShell, okay? Or you can use it, for example, the command line, right? Command prompt. But the problem with this uh, solution is that uh, we are in the wrong category, right? We are not in the category where our project is. So this is not for us. We should use the terminal inside our Visual Studio Code. And in order to run it, we click on the three dots here and then the terminal and then the new terminal. And now we can choose one of the terminal from here, but well, the PowerShell is the one that we can use on Windows. And this is very important. You need to reset your computer if you hadn't already. Otherwise, this thing that I show you now might not work, okay? Your computer needs to be reset, okay? That's all. We can run this thing here and we're gonna create an application with the folder named like this using the composer, which I said that it's gonna compose the uh, framework, for example, or mm, and dependencies, so the uh, tools that are connected with Laravel, for example. The problem with this solution is that it's pretty long, right? So each time you're gonna create a new framework, you're gonna need to run this and it's hard to remember. What I typically do, I am not using this command, but what they suggest below. You can install using the composer something what is called the Laravel installer, okay? So this is gonna shorten the process in the future. So you click this and as you can see, it's gonna install something uh, and download from the internet, which is, which is called the installer for the Laravel. And now all we need to do is create it, the project, using just uh, this command, right? It's shorter, it's easier to remember. Because, well, you don't need to create everything on one page, right? We have got now a, a folder in which we can create another folder, like, for example, to do app, right? And now when I hit enter, as you can see, our Laravel is gonna be installed. So as you can see, on the left side here, we can open the to do app and as you can see that here inside this folder uh, lots of new things shown up all of these things were installed by the laravel installer okay and in next lectures we're gonna learn the most important parts of this project how you can use this frame of the work space okay that's why it's called framework because there are lots of folders, like for example, here is database that is used to migrate data to the database. Here we have resources where we have good views of things that we can see. Here we have routes, so things that allows you to make the path to specific places on your web page. So that's what we're gonna learn in future. In this lecture, we created a project. In the next lecture, we're gonna learn what is Artisan and how to use it to run your project. Because right now, you've just created some files, right? And well, in order to use them to see the results, we need to run them in our web browser.